Hi, welcome to Dress Response a Demo Video. Dress Response is the ultimate email marketing software designed to revolutionize your email marketing effort. So let's look, look at most of the features of this uh, software. The first one is sending identity. Send your email using your custom domain, uh, email address. Send your uh, 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 email using uh, your own uh, uh, domain. So you can click, I mean, add your domain or your customer uh, email address to this to this uh, to the drop response to use the word server what as a send, uh, sender identity to send your email. So here yeah, we are from the Let's outside here. You can check the sending here. So click on sending identity. As you can see, we added two email addresses here. You can add one here. Click on new sender to add one. Here. Click on new sender and go to I mean, click on new sender. Then you put your name and your the email address. We recommend that to use a custom email email address. Then click save. Then you go to receive a, a confirmation link to confirm your email address then you can also ask you add your own domain it's very simple just click, click new sending domain then you, then you can was come come go the dna of that domain using tst to tst we have your host name and you have the value just input the host name and the value then click verify domain then the second feature is email uh, list under list under the subscriber we have subscriber here then you can have overview your subscribers list contact and segment so let's look at it overview here so the number of uh, contacts you have so as you can see from the graph from graph here you can check your list you can check the link and create a new list very simple then you can check the contact you can check the contact of each uh, of this of the list then you segment you can segment your list so it depends on you you just click on create segment then name your uh, segment then follow the attribute or any then add the conditions then click save then the second one the third one is a pop up form and uh, embedded form pop up form and embedded form then from that go to the integration here we have integration here that the integration here we have form click on form that is I mean, the type of form I have created here. I've published some of them. So for create a new form, click on create form. So name your form, then select the list. Yeah, they select the type of form. Either want to create a create a put form or embed code uh, form. The embed code form is one can, can copy the code and add it to any any place on your website to display. Then this, this pop-up form is just a form placed in the, in the, in the, the home page of your uh, website or plug to collect the uh, email address or contact of your visitors. So just uh, I mean just add this then switch any of this template then click design. You can also create a pop-up form by click on the add your website just add your web website here then click get code. You go to uh, uh, give a Java uh, script code you can post I and mean, put on your website to show the pop-up uh, form so let me say go back to the form so from this from this JV, uh, JV list form here well look well if I click on this so as you can see this you can reduce this size say for 450 490 here yeah, as you can see here yeah, from yes you can see the form here yeah, just click save so we click save there you can click this is on publish i've already published it if you want to unpublish your form you can click on publish but i've already published this one just collect the code here yeah, click on code then copy the code then paste this code on your website let's, let's look at it here yeah. so let's come to this side customize yeah So this is widget. So yeah, let's add a, a custom HTML. Then copy the code. Yeah, if you have a plug, yeah, so you can preview it here. Yeah. As you can see it, as you can see it here. Yeah. So you just click. 
publish then come back to the page here as you can see the form here so very simple very simple look elegant so as you can see it here so it's very simple just after that you can just click this area to go back to the home page so that's it for the form then the next one is a uh, template we have different type of uh, different uh, present uh, templates that you can use for your email this is my template here i save this so in case i want to send an email so you can come to this template gallery here come to the template gallery here at the template you can check you can preview you can preview the template as you can see you can preview the template you'll be adding more template to this preview the template so you can preview them as you can see here. So you can select more any of any one you prefer we have one column template we have two column we have three column template and so on then the next one is campaign the next one is campaign so you can actually create a campaign here so this is the campaign i've created here to create a new campaign just click on create campaign then select from regular or plain text so choose always choose a regular campaign then choose your uh, your list here yeah, you can add more list you can choose add more so after that then click save and next then fill your campaign campaign name email subject your name from name then from the email then reply to if you are if the both are both are the same field if the from email I reply email I can just click use this one just add this one to it so because I have already verified my email address so you can see it here now then after that just click the uh, next so let's go click it click on this name your campaign So just then, well, then just click next. So select the template here from my sixty one. We have different templates here. So just make sure you select one. So these are just those are the those are the one that I have used. So just select one here. So we'll click on this. Then as you can see here, the template so you can add your logo. You can edit all this, you can edit them, you can add more widgets to it. You can add for a video if you like. You can add video. You can add social uh, uh, net, uh, social to it. You can add a page header, you can add a hero, you can add article or uh, so on. So you can test for mobile. As you can see there, see here, so when you are through, then click save and close. So then you can check your spam score. You can change the, check the spam score here. Look at you click here, check the spam score. So this one is pass. So there's no any the spam here. So you can come back here, then go to the next. Then you can schedule your uh, 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 campaign, your message, or send now. If you want to schedule your campaign, uh, campaign, just come to this date and choose the date. Then click schedule. If you want to send now, just click send now. So we schedule this. So this is the summary of the campaign. Yeah. So you can test the campaign. Just click send a test mail. Then after you send the test mail, if you are satisfied, then can just go back to or you can preview it also yeah you can preview the email here yeah. as you can see here yeah. so you can preview it here yeah. as you can see here yeah. you can preview it here yeah. then 
that is just if you want to send set that you change your mind you can set, set click set now but set it set for one week now or you can edit it also that's it on campaign now so let's go to automation here this is automation under the automation here we have autoresponder we have whatever can create autoresponder here you can send emails Say happy birthday to those who, who are celebrating their birthday. You can send a, 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 a automation to subscriber added. The date is subscriber I mean added. You can create a automation to in a specific date. You can say goodbye to subscribers. You can send an email, weekly recording email. You can I mean, send a weekly, they also do a, your campaign towards um, what called send on a monthly basis. You can so do a campaign you automatically send on a weekly basis. You can send one-time message based on the individual date, like, like feed, like an appointment, and so on. So that's just a little on the automation. So let's look at the samples here. We have a sample of automation. Let's check this. So this is on our automation. Let's look at this. Yeah, it's an example here. So this is another one. As you can see here, so let's also check out that one. So let's go back. So that is it on the automation. Then the next one is landing pages. So you can create a landing to generate a lead. So we have go to my landing pages. These are the landing pages I've created. So as you can see. You can preview the for the your landing page, as you can see here. So to create your own landing page, just click on create landing page. Click on create landing page. Then select from the template here. I want to decide from scratch. You can start from the scratch here. So you can select a, 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 any template you like here. So let's use this. So look at this. You can just check it if you like it. Then click on use template. You can check the thank you page. As you can see here, you can check the thank you page here. So go back to the main page here. Then click on use template here. If you don't like it, go to, click on go back. So if you want to use here, so you can say video template. Then click save and build that. Internet is connection is slow here. So as you can see here, so you can edit, you can edit, you can change the color from here. You can change the color depends on you. You can change the color. You can change the color to black. So it depends on you. You can change the the settings here. You can change it. This is a, a, a video YouTube video. You can change the YouTube video URL here. YouTube ID here. You can use STM uh, score here. You can change the FIMO here, and so on. So you can change the color of the background here if you like. Then what you have to click save or click a, a publish. So you can preview. You can see you can preview here. So you can come back to this side again. Look at edit everything, whatever you want to edit, then click saved. So you can check the thank you page also. So this is thank you page. So you can edit it, depends on to your own taste. So what you are to click save, or you can also preview it, as you can see it here. So what you are to do go back to the home. So you can add more column to this. So this one is here to publish. So you want to publish it. So I suppose to publish it there before you can come back to the setting. So you can just tick this and say and say click save. Then save successfully. So you can now come back to the domain and click on this to check it. As you can see now, you can edit the URL here. 
See, this is subdomain. You can edit to this, this URL. You can change it to video. Video.dropresponse.com and click save. Then come back to the domain as you can see here. It's already changed. So you can preview it again. So, so as you can see here. Then here now come back to the form. So uh, when so when when a visitor subscribe to the add their email and click submit. So you can tell them to go to the thank you page or go to the external URL. If you want to get them to go to the external URL, then add your URL. If you want them to go to the thank you page, then put it, uh, leave the, leave it as a default here. Then to link your landing page with your list, so you come back here, link list with form. So this so here we show your your all the your mailing list here. So drop down here so you can select any one, then then cl and click saved. Then come back here. You can change the front if you want. Then come back to the CEO. CEO, you can input your CEO title, description, keyword for search engine. Then social title, you can add your own uh, social image. Then social description and click save. Then the custom code, you can add custom code to the uh, main page header, main page uh, footer. For example, if you're advertising your uh, uh, your page on on Google or uh, Facebook, you can add Facebook PCR to the header footer, or you can. Add Another Facebook uh, page to work to the thank you page header and thank you page uh, footer. So and click save. So that's uh, these are the features of what of this uh, of uh, drop response email marketing software. They also you can also check your campaign API. You can also use your API. So I give you the API here. So you can use a uh, API endpoint and your API token. So you can also renew the token here. I change the, the API if you like. So in case you have any question, you have you need help, you can click check our support. If you click support support here, so you can contact us here through email address or fill the form here. Also, we can check our knowledge base. We have knowledge base yet. We have to just type of the five question you want to ask here. So I check check it here. We have many video and test uh, training here. So hope this uh, video help you to understand the future of a uh, drop uh, response email marketing uh, software. So hope uh, in case you want to join this uh, this uh, 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 software, it's, it's one of among the best uh, email marketing software that can help you to grow your online business. So thank you.